Kirk's tribe's camp, I guess. Wow. The light, the wind, the heat. I can still feel it all. I dream of it every night. That's not right. Not a chance. Birds in the aviary are beautiful. My mother would have absolutely loved them. She, she loved birds. Always did. Up to the end. I really tried. I tried to tell them I was a whole lot better. They just wouldn't listen. Hello. And who might you be, miss? Yeah. Who are we speaking to? Uh, my name is Kate. Kate Walker. Kate? Kate Walker? That doesn't sound too local. Yeah. So how did you get here, Kate? Kate Walker? The Yukels brought me here. The Yukels? They're nothing but chicken thieves. A whole bunch of scumbag morons doing nothing but infesting the streets of Valsambor. Yeah. Now they've come here to do their dirty work. Ah, uh, you mean Kirk, I suppose. For 20 years we've been in this clinic. Since we got back from Baranor. Listen, this place has always actually been a quality establishment. I don't mind admitting. So we were pretty disappointed when we heard that Madame Olga is now letting in those degenerate scumbags from up north. Come on, Anton, come on. Madame Olga knows very well what she's doing. She must have her reasons for letting those midgets in here. So have you really been here for 20 years? Yeah. At first, we were kept for observation with some of our buddies after that damn mission to, uh, Baranur. Leon and me, we're almost the last ones still here now. We don't know what happened to the others. Gotta say, some of them were pretty bad. Worse than us. Some guys who got it pretty bad. Fortunately, Madame Olga looks after us right. They look after us nicely here. Yeah. She looks after us good. She's a real lady, if you want my opinion. Baranur? What's Baranur? A place. It's a goddamn hellhole. What are you talking about, Anton? That's all I have to say about it, Kate. Kate Walker. Can't stir up the past. I'll be leaving you then, gentlemen. Goodbye. See you around, Kate. Kate Walker. Yeah. See you around.
Ah, you're finally awake, number ten. What can I do for you? Well, it seems to me that I'm cured. And now I'd like to be on my way. Given your condition, that would seem somewhat premature and perhaps even unreasonable, number ten. What do you mean, my condition? You're in a coma for quite some time. That's not negligible. And even if you seem better physically, there may well be serious psychological after-effects. So you're refusing to let me leave? Oh, no, of course not, miss. I have no intention of abusing any of the prerogatives of my position. Nonetheless, first you must submit to a series of tests that are designed to demonstrate that you have fully recovered. You understand. Please, sit down. I... on that? Yes, yes. Don't be afraid. What the... Don't worry about these restraints. Merely a simple formality that's part of the protocol that Dr. Olga, our supervisor, has implemented. Right. I do believe that we can begin. Now, be so kind as to state your first and last names, age, and place of birth, please. My name is Kate Walker. I was born in New York, and I'll be 30 this year. Good. Good, miss. Up until now, my device would seem to corroborate what you say. You're using a lie detector? It's procedure. Please stop worrying and talk to me instead of your friends and family. Are you on good terms with them? No. I cut off with them. I haven't had any news from my mother for weeks. And Dan, my fiancé, left me for my best friend Olivia. You seem to be basking in this chaos and anarchy, Miss Walker. Is this inclination for disorder connected to this Hans Vorlberg and Oscar? You spoke about them at length while you were delirious. Oscar was an automaton and Hans Vorlberg was the person who made him. We became friends and I went with them on a long journey through Europe. There you have it. To be honest, what I'm interested in, Miss Walker, is that during your travels you were in contact with the Yukol people, the nomads who brought you here to Velzenbor. In your opinion, what should we fear from such a primitive tribe of savages who understand neither law nor border, refusing civilization and settlement? I think, Doctor, that the Yukols live in harmony with nature, time, and space. They have no real reason to change the way they live. Now that is an example of typical American idealism. Maybe you should go back to New York right away. I'm sure your brilliant ideas will be justly appreciated there. Hmm, I see. In a way, your silence is quite answer enough, Miss Walker. So you intend to continue your journey through our country? A hazardous undertaking with neither goal nor destination. Pity for a brilliant New York attorney who seemed to have a gleaming future. That's not for you to decide, Doctor. For the rest, I think I've demonstrated throughout this interview that I present no psychological after-effects from my injuries. I would therefore like you to authorize my release now. Of course, of course. Do calm down, Miss Walker. I'm sorry, but I'm not used to being interrogated like this. Some years ago, I would have interrogated you in a very different manner, Miss Walker. I grant that I may still feel some nostalgia for the good old traditional methods. You're one of the very last representatives of a world that is fast disappearing, Miss Walker. A disordered world that no one will miss. 
This key is much like you. Unstructured and uncontrollable. If you're able to find a way to use it to leave this floor, then you shall have proved that you are permanently cured. I would like to get my things back before I leave. You will find them there. Your clothes are in these drawers. I thought you wanted to change, even if you do eventually realize that you are nowhere near as far recovered as you were inclined to think when you tried to use the key. Your clothes are in these drawers. This knife should make a perfect screwdriver or lever. This knife should make a perfect screwdriver or lever. Turn around. You seem somewhat upset. Try looking at the birds in the aviary. That should come. Get your bearings. I understood that you'd be staying with us for a little while yet. So you're finally awake. Has Dr. Olga been informed? Have you seen the mammoths too? Go tell the staff, that way maybe they'll believe me. And have you seen any dragons, too? Someone should have a word with the maintenance department. 
Go hold your head under the ice water in the fountain, Nikita. That'll clear up your damn headaches. Not his time. This isn't a normal headache. It's like a pile of rusty nails wow. rattled. Well, that's you settled then. Did you speak to Madame Olga or Dr. Mongoling? No. It's maybe they're the ones sticking the damn nails in my head while I'm asleep. Get better. We'll go see the birds in the aviary later. It helps calm you down. It's even recommended when you have nails in your head. But... What on earth's wrong, Miss Walker? I don't understand. The key. It didn't work. I did warn you, you know. You can't be at all well enough yet to deserve to be released already. No, there must be a problem with your damn key. Our keys are somewhat old, I will admit. But they've never failed me yet when called upon to do their duty. Well, there's a first time for everything. You can see that I managed to use the key, and that I am perfectly cured. I have the right to leave. Impossible, Miss Walker. The rule is very clear. Only those patients who are capable of opening the door may leave this floor. Right. Since you won't help me, I want to speak with your superior, Dr. Olga. You can do that when she comes by to see you for her daily visit. But please don't count on me. 
to disturb her before then. There's a problem with the key. That's obvious. I need to find out where it comes from. Automaton birds? Not a chance. Nothing. Impossible. The birds in the aviary are beautiful. My mother would have absolutely loved them. She, she loved birds. Always did, up to the end. Kirk? Can you hear me? No luck. Well, I'll let him sleep for now. Kirk's tribe's camp, I guess. <laughs> it burns. It still burns, even after all these years. Have you seen the mammoths, too? Go tell the staff. That way, maybe they'll believe me. And have you seen any dragons, too? So you're finally awake. Has Dr. Olga been informed? Get your bearings. I understood that you'd be staying with us for a little while, yet... I should inspect the key before I do anything else. I already know that everything works here. Let's check the key. These holes. It looks like something's been removed from the key. No doubt about it. My key's been deliberately damaged. I need to find a perfect copy if I want to be able to repair it. Uh-huh.
I see. According to the picture, there's a pin missing. I need to find a way to fix it. But how am I going to manage it? How are you, Kate Walker? Is your departure from the clinic imminent? I'm afraid not. You seem upset. What's wrong? I have to use a kind of key to open a door and finally get out of this place. It's a kind of a test, you know? A test that I passed, but the key didn't work. And when I compared it with an original, I saw it had been sabotaged. I'm getting the impression they're trying to keep us here by any means, Kirk whether we want to stay or not. That's a serious accusation. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure, Kirk. Look at you, trapped in that instrument of torture. You don't think that's strange? You don't have the impression we're being held prisoner? It's true that I've been very weak since I began Madame Olga's treatment. But she says that it's normal. She calls it temporary secondary effects. We really need to get out of here, Kirk. Unfortunately, I cannot undertake the long migration of the ostriches without the mechanical leg, Kate Walker. But you, on the other hand, you can leave. But how? Show me the model of the key you told me about. I can't use this knife for anything with things the way they are. Show me the model of the key instead, please. Hmm, that's what I thought. With this, my tribe Smith should be able to repair your key. If, of course, you find a way to get it to him. I doubt they have a postal service here. Go on to the balcony. Our shaman's messenger is never very far. I use it to communicate with my people. You can give it the key. It'll take it to my tribe smith. Got it. Thank you so much, Kirk. That's not right. Not a chance. No way. Nothing. Impossible. It doesn't work. Hey, you! Birdie! Birdie! 
I've got something for you. Hey there. That's it. Come on, come here. Hey there. That's it. Come on, come here. Hey you! Birdie! Birdie! I've got something for you! This must be Valsambur, the town Kirk told me about. Kirk's tribe's camp, I guess. It doesn't work. About that bird, Kirk. I must be doing something wrong. It won't come to me when I call it. It's true that the old owl is a bit of a lunatic. Have you tried to get it to land on the balcony? No, but I don't see what I can use for that. Look around the yard, Kate Walker. You may find something that might interest the board. Why not? I'll give it a shot. Thank you for your help, Kirk. Birds in the aviary are beautiful. My mother would have absolutely loved them. She, she loved birds. Always did. Up to the end. This key. I wonder if...
got something for you. The owl flew away with the key, Kirk. That's good news, Kate Walker. Now we only need... Kirk. What's wrong? Do Dr. Olga's treatment. Kirk. Kirk. Can you hear me? Wake up. Come, come. No need to be alarmed, Miss Walker. You're Dr. Olga, I suppose. We weren't expecting you to awaken for another few days, Miss Walker. This is surprising. Truly. If I had known, I would have come by earlier in the day to assist you in your return to the world of the waking. Unlike poor Kirk here, I have no need of help. I am very well, thank you. Fainting is a secondary effect inherent in the treatment, Miss Walker. Nothing more. In medicine, despite any discomfort, protocol must be respected. Oh, you mean that horrible mechanical bed where that poor boy is waiting for a prosthesis that never comes? That's protocol? And I suppose the same is true for the absurd interrogation I had to go through. You seem to have developed a singular paranoia since you came out of the coma. When we get the chance, I'll look into it. But for now, I'm going to ask you to please leave. I have to administer the next stage of the treatment to your young friend. Dr. Efimova, I demand to be released from this clinic. And trust me, I will be denouncing the curious way you've treated Kirk and your other patients. You have a very unique way of practicing medicine. I find your defiance troubling, Miss Walker. I'm responsible for ensuring your recovery goes well. Of course, I can only strongly disapprove of a premature release. I'm not interested in your opinion. Let me leave this instant. Fine. Unfortunately, I cannot prevent you from leaving us. But please, please assuage my professional conscience before you go, and let me check your pulse. What the... It's for your own good, Miss Walker. Believe me. You must receive treatment, whether you like it or not. I can't believe Dr. Olga drugged me. That woman is completely insane. Walker. 
work. How do you feel? Not very well, I'm afraid. You can't stay like this, Kirk. I've got to find some way to get you out of that damn machine. You'll be putting yourself in danger for nothing, Kate Walker. Even if you find a way to get me out, I'm far too weak to go back to my people. And anyway, I need my mechanical prosthesis to undertake the Great Ostrich Migration. So what do you want me to do? I'm not going to leave you in the hands of that crazy Olga. The best thing, Kate Walker, is for you to go along. And if you really want to help me, once you are outside, go to Valsambor and try to recover my prosthesis from the craftsmen. If you bring it back to me, Dr. Zamiatine will put it on, and I will be able to go back to my tribe. Can we trust Dr. Zamiatine? I'm not so sure when I see what this clinic is like. The man has always been a friend to the Ukols. And I'm sure he'll be able to help you leave the hospital and find the craftsman in Valsambor. Okay. I promise to come back as soon as I can with your prosthesis, Kirk. Until then, hang in there. Thank you, Kate Walker. And may the spirits be with you.